In this video, we're going to look at function notation, specifically with expressions. All right, so before you attempt this lesson, make sure you're comfortable with the order of operations and then just general function notation uh, with tables and graphs and other stuff. All right, so recall, first of all, that function notation f of x equals y, x is our input, y is our output. All right, if we want to find f of 2, just notice this 2 is in the same place where this x is up there. So really, we just replace the x with a 2. All right, so here's the steps to evaluate a function uh, using an expression. So the first step is we replace all the x's in the expression with whatever value we want. In that last slide, it was 2. I'd right, be careful with parentheses. When you're first starting out, always put parentheses around uh, the number you're plugging in. All right, next step is you're just going to simplify using the order of operations, making sure you do exponents first, um, then multiplication, division, then addition, subtraction. Make sure you do order of operations first. The most uh, common mistake students make is with exponents. And then your final answer should just be a number, right, whatever the output for the function was. All right, so let's say we have f of x equals 3 minus 2x. I want to evaluate f of 1. I right, remember this 1 here is in the same place as x. So in the x in my expression, I also want to replace with 1. So this is going to be equal to 3 minus 2 times 1. And now I just do order of operations. So the first thing I do is multiplication. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. All right, so when I put in 1, I get out 1. If we used our error notation, I put in 1, I get out 1. All right, next, f of negative 4. All right, so I do the same thing. Just take this negative 4 and put it in for my x. First thing I do is multiplication. So I have this negative 2 times this negative 4 at the end. Negative 2 times negative 4. The negatives cancel and give me positive 8. And 3 plus 8 is 11. So when I put in negative 4 into my function, I'm going to get out 11. All right, so this is all you need to do with an expression. It's basically just plugging in a number and simplifying. And now we're just going to make it a little bit more complicated and throw some extra coefficients and things. All right, so here we want to do g of 1. So I'm replacing the x with a 1, which means I'm going to replace this x and that x with a 1. So it's going to look like this, 2 times 1 minus 1 squared. I remember, put those parentheses around that number. Uh, it's better to be uh, safe, especially with negatives and things hanging out. Uh, you want to know exactly where your number is and what operations to do first. So we know in this situation, we're going to do this exponent first. All right, the negative is not in the parentheses. So I square the 1 first, and I get just positive 1. And I'm not squaring negative 1. I'm just squaring that 1 that's in parentheses. Multiplication is next. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So just like in the last example, 1 happens to give me 1. All right, what about negative 1? I'm going to do the exact same process, but I'm going to do it with a negative 1 instead. So all that really changes is wherever I had a 1 in that expression above, now I have a negative 1. Here I do square negative 1. Negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1, and that gives me positive 1. Now I do my multiplication. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. All right, so when I put a negative 1, I get out negative 3. All right, so just being careful with negative is really the most common mistake students will make with um, function notation and order of operations in general. Making sure you do exponents first before multiplication, making sure you're careful with your negatives. All right, really nothing like special to teach as long as you're kind of being careful with that stuff. All right, so here's one for you to try on your own. All right, h of x is x squared plus x and you want to find h of negative 2. Right, I'll show you the answer in 3, 2, 1. And that I got is 2. So when I plug in negative 2 as my x value, I get out the y value, positive 2. All right, so here's one thing that could come up All right, is when you are not plugging a number into your function, but you're plugging some expression into your function. But really, all you have to remember is whatever is in the parentheses here, I could put a smiley face in the parentheses. I could put um, a picture of an apple in the parentheses. It doesn't matter what's in the parentheses. That's just going to replace your x in your expression. So this is going to be 3. Instead of x, I'm replacing with a plus h and minus 1. All right, so 
nothing real different in that first step. Or whatever is in the parentheses, it literally could be a symbol, it could be a hieroglyphic, it could be an emoji. Or whatever is in the parentheses goes in for that X in your expression. If it was an emoji or something, you'd be done because you can't really simplify something with an emoji. But here we can because we can distribute something into the parentheses. That's why it's important to use parentheses so you remember stuff like this, 3a plus 3h minus 1. And then you're done because you can't combine anything after this. All right, so this is just something that does come up in pre-calc in calculus, which is remembering that even if it's not a number, whatever is in parentheses goes in for that x. All right, and remember that when solving an expression, we're looking for the value that makes the expression true. All right, so we're going to be talking about solving using function notation. All right, so what about something like this? f of x equals 3x plus 2, solve f of x equals 8. Well, this is f of x equals, and this is f of x equals, so these things are equal to each other. So we're basically just going to take 3x plus 2. That's our f of x, and we want that to be 8. All right, so we're basically figuring out when is our y value 8. Well, we just do this by solving an equation. So we subtract 2 from both sides, and then dividing both sides by 3, and we get x equals 2. So when I plug 2 into my function, I get out 8. The solution to f of x equals 8 is 2. All right, so just kind of reviewing uh, solving an equation, all right, but that's kind of the way you do it with function notation. All right, so go ahead and practice using function notation with expressions. Again, making sure you're really careful with your order of operations. Negatives and exponents are where the most mistakes happen, so just make sure you're careful using your parentheses following your order of operations.